Arkansas River flooding continues to impact homes and highways, even though in many areas the river has crested. But that is not the case yet downstream in Pendleton, where the crest is still days away. TSV 11's Michael Aaron joins us live there tonight as anxiety is running high. Don Craig, local officials tell us there are about 80 or 90 homes in this community and that uh, there's water inside about 60 to 70 of those. So while some people are able to stay inside of their houses for now, that water is still rising and already this entire community is affected. The mailbox right there. If you want to get around Pendleton, you'll have to find a boat. And it's just, it's just overwhelming, you know, you just don't know what to say. It's what tough not. for Peggy Hill to see her riverfront community underwater. <laughs> and this sight it's terrible. It's... is even tougher. We've worked hard for, you know, nine years trying to get it established to be on our own, be our own bosses. A week before the waters rise, Peggy and her husband began preparing their beloved Triple P. We operated until the last minute that we could, you know, and then the people that had been in that night, they hung around and helped us get everything lifted up, put up. Efforts to save a community staple. Tied everything down and bolted it down and then just give it to God and let him work his magic. That's all we could do. And now all they can do is wait. But, uh... He will prevail. He'll get us all out of this. You can see the water is already on the top of my boots here, and Peggy says it's been rising throughout the day and likely will continue to rise ahead of the projected crest on Sunday. I'm ready for it to crest, you know, and, and let's get, get back to what we can do. Because in a community that's lost so much, there's just a devastation that is just can't be explained. Peggy is ready to serve. And I know that we're not the only ones. Not just food and drinks. She wants to pay for the kindness shown to her. I mean, it's really been just outpouring. Amid the Arkansas River's historic rise. Maybe we can get ours up and going, and then we will be able to fall out and help some of the other families that are back in here behind us. And everybody will work together here as a community. Well, and that has already certainly been the case. We spoke with Judge Richard Tyndall earlier today. He says that even judges from neighboring counties have stepped in, offered to help, and uh, that this community and the neighboring communities up and down the river will band together in the days and weeks ahead. For now, though, we are reporting live. I'm Michael Aaron, THV 11 News. All right, Michael, thank you.